Raziel here again, another pre shower I mean, post-shower, pre-bedtime video. Uh, I'm in the Shadowlands beta. Uh, somehow Blizzard forgot that they had banned me 10 years ago from all their official forums for saying things against TOS. But I'm here now, so fuck it. Uh, what is going on right now with Shadowlands uh, delay? We all know it's, you know, it's been delayed. And now that I've had a chance to go into the beta, I'm going to give you my opinion on what I think is going on. Other than hiring a bunch of racists. That's really fucked up. Because I've kind of been digging through systems for a while now. So, if you're interested in my opinion, here it comes. I am Razio. Okay, everybody, as you can see, we are here on the Shadowlands beta, and uh, I've been having quite a bit of fun with it, playing around. I try not to spoil anything. There's not going to be any spoilers in, in this video in terms of uh, any kind of storyline content or things like that, but I'm noticing it's been a while since I beta tested a Blizzard product. I have done quite a few in the past, but it's been a while, and... Uh, there's a couple things I wanted to, to point out. It's very, very clear that the main reason that Shadowlands is not ready right now is because it's, as most people predicted, insanely balanced. Um, and a big uh, part of that is the Covenant systems, which, as we all feared, would cause big problems. Now, now I know this might be the part where, oh, Raz, well, you fucking said that Covenants are good and for everyone to shut the fuck up. I know what I said, okay? My point was, I think that Covenants were a great idea in terms of adding permanence, a step in the right direction. I still believe that. A step in the right direction to make something a little more weighty and permanent. But I also said in those same videos that the real issue and the real thing I've always been worried about wasn't the Covenant system itself. It was that it's uh, being balanced by the same people that balanced BFA, right? That's the big, the big problem here. So as you can see, if we look here... Uh, they've got a lot of balancing to do, and this isn't even the worst. It's mostly the Covenant abilities that are completely out of whack, uh, and they're showing pictures in the exact same way that I feared and I talked about. You know, if something is 5-10% stronger or weaker than something else, that's fine. I have no problem with that. And I still don't see why people are bitching about these Covenants. They're fine, and I'll show you what I mean why they're fine here. But... There are 40-50% disparities on DPS meters, which immediately after that data was found is when we saw the delay of Shadowlands announced because it's just not ready. Classes are retardedly imbalanced, and the we're also starting to see Blizzard make some old common mistakes, i.e. blanket nerfs. Uh, Frosty K got some blanket nerfs today. Uh, they're just blanket nerfing everything to try to get everything to a balanced level, which... It is what it is. You all know my opinions on things like nerfing to achieve balance, I think, is usually bad. Usually you want to buff things to achieve balance. Um, but the biggest pain in the dick, as I'm going to go into here, about the entire Covenant system isn't even the system itself. Uh, because you can tell Blizzard's working really hard and they're trying a lot to make this balance to make it work. Kudos to them for doing so. The dick in the ass is the fact that they're doing this to a system that we know is only going to be here for two years. Maybe a little more. And then it'll be retired like the artifact weapon in Legion was retired. It'll be retired. Again, borrowed power bullshit. Like Azerite armor and the necklace and BFA. It's just the borrowed power shit needs to stop. Um, I'd be much more enthusiastic and supportive of Blizzard dumping tons of resources and time into a system that was more permanent. Which I have an idea which would make this more permanent. But it's irrelevant at this point. If you guys are interested in hearing my ideas of how I would have made Covenants permanent, maybe I'll make a whole video about that. But uh, as you can see, what a lot of people are bitching about, oh, you can only change Conduit once per week. Uh, that's not true. They're actually changing that. I don't know if it's in this build right now. But for example, I can still do this anytime I want. Okay. Uh, I'm, I have to go to the forge. I just can't do it right here, but I can go and change these anytime I want, which path it's on. Okay. I can upgrade them. The only time you have, you're restricted in any way on these is it's obviously hard to switch an entire covenant back or forth. Can't really do that very often, but the conduits, we're going to get charges of a conduit. 
so that you can let me see if I can go over the hearthstone here you can use the conduit um, you have a certain amount you can replace per week and they slowly recharge so let's say you use one on Tuesday and Monday there's a good chance that on Thursday it'll be recharged that one will be recharged but you get multiple right but anyway I don't know if I can change it if I have to be arrested uh, I have to be to the forge in my base see I'm trying to spoil myself with shadow lines, but as you can see it's uh it's not as bad they're gonna keep adding more of these they can have some really good ideas for these you know we've got a lot of different paths here they're probably gonna add more soul binds as time goes on but guys the real issue that I'm seeing here in Shadowlands is the balance is fucked the balance right now is completely off and to be honest I don't know if six weeks is gonna be enough time to for Blizzard to get these uh, classes in a good place we'll see We'll see if they can. Again, the biggest thing that's hindering them is their own systems, which they're having to make more complex now. Same problem as BFA. They're having to make them more complex to get them to work right. Uh, is Shadow, does that mean Shadowlands is going to be a BFA repeat? No, doesn't mean that for sure. Doesn't mean it could? Absolutely it could. But uh, again, we'll have to play it by ear and see. One other thing I did want to point out, though, and I'm glad that Ian did address saying that they were going to do the tier sets back we already do are starting to see kind of a tier set type thing come back as you can see here um this is for the dread sentinel set which is for my covenant but that means they're probably going to be able to add more going on but one thing i did want to point out that i noticed which is a negative now it's no stranger I'm, none of us are strangers to the fact that uh, the art team has carried blizzard's games for a fucking long time now the art team essentially carries this company they are, have done amazing work and Shadowlands is no exception. But I'm also starting to see their resources spread thin here too now. Where we are seeing that, for example, let me show you. The We can't see a lot of the raid gear uh, completely. I mean, like you can, you can look at it, right? So the raid gear, they're still, for right now, for the first raid tier, they have the single type of armor so all plate looks the same different color theme depending on difficulty right but we're expecting to see that change in the second raid tier however all the dungeon sets look identical they all look the same and i mean it doesn't help that this version is shit i think this version of plate specifically is shit but it all looks the same and it also looks the same as the pvp gear for right now which I think is fucking lazy. Come on, Blizzard. You can make more than one set per fucking armor type artistically. Like, come on. That's kind of sad. For dungeons, that's kind of... Look at, look at the different art styles we got in Dungeons and Burning Crusade in Vanilla and Wrath. I mean, Wrath was a little more homogenized, but come on, Blizzard. Unleash the best part of your fucking entire company, your art team. Let them do their job. Anyway, guys, what are your thoughts? Uh, I'm really interested in what you what you guys are thinking and feeling about Shadowlands right now. Now, again, I'm still going to play it. I'm still super uh, hyped to play with my friends and my guild because that's an MMO. That's what's most important. Um, I'm a lot of the changes are fantastic. A lot of the st the art is beautiful. There's a lot of great stuff going on, but I see why now that they wanted the extra time, and I'm actually going to be surprised if they can squeeze that out in four to six weeks uh, to get. Uh, some level of balance to where it's not hey every single class pick this covenant you know what everyone's even the top one percent warned us about and everyone's been afraid of which is all comes down to an issue of balance not the systems themselves and so do you guys think blizzard's capable of balancing it or do you think it's going to be a shit show the whole way through i'm really interested in hearing your opinions guys uh i will have more content coming out for you really soon again uh, the internet uh the mmrpg is kind of dead right now as we're waiting for shadowlands after it's delayed I've been playing some Baldur's gate 3 uh, you can come check me out on my twitch i uh, i stream three days a week if you want to come talk some shit make fun of me i don't give a fuck uh come over there if you like this video uh please like it. if you didn't you can downvote it i don't care Ooh, nobody gives a shit and as always my friends keep it real